What's up guys, this is Adam from 3dmodelsworld.com Welcome to another Maya tutorial And today we're gonna create this water shader And we're gonna also animate it And this water shader will work very well for like lake Or for a river It's not gonna work very well for an ocean It doesn't have much detail on it to simulate an ocean But for simple like lakes You can have pretty good results And also the way to create it is pretty fast as well So we're gonna rely on Arnold for texturing the water shader of course using the AI standard surface and also we're gonna use a displacement map and have this displacement map basically animated to simulate the water uh, texture okay so without further delay let's get started okay so this is the scene I have as you can see I have uh, light and this is basically simulating the sunlight and it have the intensity of one emit specularity and also it have ray trace shadows and uh, I have a sky dome and this one have an HDRI image so to create sky dome you basically go to arnold lights and then sky dome light and then you plug an image uh, with it an hdr image so it's basically a simple lighting setup and uh, this is the plane that we're gonna use for uh, the lake or the river and this is also the vegetation that i have that uh, i got from our site 3d models world as you can see guys it's a pretty simple scene so now let's select the water, let's assign new AI standard shader. So let's go to the hypershade under Arnold, let's click on AI standard surface. You go shader. Okay, so now this is the material. And let's select the plane. And then right click and assign material to selection. Okay, so now let's start adjusting this uh, settings on this material. So first, let's turn the weight all the way to zero because we don't want to have any color on it. And then the color also as well to zero so this way it doesn't have any diffuse on it and then the specular we keep it all the way to one because we want it to be reflective and the transmission we want to turn it all the way to one so this is going to make it transparent and uh, simulate like a water so now it's the plane completely disappeared but still there so we can switch to wireframe shaded so we can kind of see what it is and uh, so now we have the shader the basics of the shaders are set up so after applying the water shader so one thing we need to do before we render let's go to the settings of the lake shape node which is basically the um, object we're selecting so let's make sure we uncheck opaque so this will become transparent and let's render okay so it's done rendering and you can see we have the water looking uh, pretty good like transparent and also have a nice reflectivity on it so reflecting all the scene so that's pretty good just make sure always you have the opaque uh, unchecked if you want any object to, to be transparent in your scene so with that done let's save this image and then let's create a displacement map basically this is gonna be deforming uh, the water to make it look uh, you know in a specific way we want so let's let's do that right now so let's go to hypershade and then the best way to create a water displacement is basically using the water node that Maya provide in the texturing so if you click on this one the water node here it's pretty good this one you can have uh, pretty good customization on it uh, there is these base settings and there is also additional settings you can adjust here but for now we're just gonna be covering uh, these settings to get the look that we're looking for so let's connect this uh, water to our um, displacement so let's connect the out alpha to the displacement shader and then next thing we need to do is select uh, poly and then we need to scroll down to the subdivisions and let's change that from type to none to cut a clark and then let's start by four the iterations and under the displacement attributes let's change the height from 1 to 0 0.1 uh, for now and let's adjust the bounce padding to 1 so the height is basically responsible for uh, the strength of the displacement and the bounce padding it actually allows the displacement to go beyond the boundaries of the ter of the geo itself so if you kept it to 0 the you're gonna basically get a weird deformation on the mesh and if you have it like 1 it's gonna deform properly so let's uh, render and see what we got okay so it's done rendering so you can see the displacement is pretty strong it levitated the whole uh, lake uh, up in the air so let's turn that down a lot let's turn it down to 0 0.01 
and then let's re-render okay so now you can see it's much better the displacement so let's now adjust that uh, water texture itself and play with that uh, number of uh, the frequency basically to increase the number of waves in it so let's go to the hyper shade and then let's select the water texture here and as you can see it's really big so let's adjust the wave frequency so this wave frequency is responsible to making these waves smaller so let's go from 4 to 30 make sure you don't want to go too much you might start a good pattern in the um, water so just try to keep it not too much of course that's depending on your scene and the angles you're using so let's go with 30 for now everything here is good we can keep it as it is and then let's go to the render view and then let's save the current view and then let's render okay so it's done rendering so you can see it's pretty big difference and uh, really enhance the look of the water of course you want to be careful with how much displacement strength you have you don't want to make it too much to start to look uh, weird you want to make it like subtle of course and also depends on how you're gonna animate the water itself for now we just keep it as this it just like uh, there is some dis displacement to it it's pretty good for this uh, case and then uh, now let's start working on animating this uh, water to be uh, moving so let's close this window and then to animate the water you can see here there's a wave time so this is responsible for the movement of the water and now it goes all the way to one but basically you can go to 100 or like beyond any number you want but let's go back to zero here and then this really affect the speed a lot so we want to be careful not to not to animate it too much so let's go to frame 1 and then let's set a key on 0 and then let's go all the way to 200 and in this case just 0 0.1 is enough to get the water moving like uh, the video you just saw and then let's go to the animation editor the graph editor you can see here the slow out and slow in and we don't want that we want the water to be always consistent in motion so we select this curve and then we click on the linear if you didn't see this curve just make sure you click select on this node so select the water node and then you should be able to see it so this is done so now we have the water is animated and we can see it here in the viewport but should be animated and uh, the look is fine now if you want to change the color of this water and you don't want it to be very transparent basically let's say you don't want to see through this uh, underneath the water and you want to give an illusion that it's really deep so you can't see very well so to do that there is a trick you can do we don't have to change anything on the shader of the water itself we can keep it as it is but we can duplicate this geo of the lake itself so let's duplicate it call it and then let's push it down and then let's isolate it and let's assign new material and let's select also AI standard surface let's put it to non-reflective we don't want it to be reflective basically this is going to be just what's going to be showing underneath the lake itself so this way you can adjust the color of it and then let's change the color we don't want it to be white so let's pick something like a blue but here you want to be really careful it's very sensitive so you need to be really subtle into these color variations so let's see something like that okay and then let's maybe push it a little bit up okay so let's render and see what we got so this is what we have so far let me delete all these previous ones and let's save this frame and then let's render okay so it's done rendering and you can see the difference in the color so this way you can customize the look of uh, the water you want to like any kind of color you want and it's gonna be a pretty powerful way without uh, manipulating the um, water shader itself so you can keep it protected so it's always gonna be consistent and then what you can adjust is the second shader and then have these uh, color variation you want in it uh, the way you want and uh, of course you can also apply a ramp so you can have a different color variations in this lake itself 
So hopefully this tutorial helped you guys create some uh, nice lake and uh, water animation pretty quickly in Arnold and Maya. Let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe for more future videos. Feel free to check our website 3 for more tutorials and cool 3D assets. Until next time, take care.